University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. As the quarterfinal stage of this competition continues, we now know that the first team through to the semi-finals is St John's College, Cambridge. The institutions playing tonight both lost their first quarter-final matches, so while the winners will get one last opportunity to stay in the competition, for the losers, it's the final curtain. The team from Bristol University left Trinity College, Cambridge and Trinity College, Oxford, reeling in the first two rounds, winning the first of those matches by 230 points to 95 and the second by 205 to 100. Then the shine wore off during their first quarter-final match when Newcastle University had the better of them by 225 to 130. So tonight is undoubtedly the night they need to recover their earlier form. With an accumulated score of 565 from three matches and with an average age of 22, let's meet the Bristol team again. Hi, I'm Ollie Bowes. I'm from Market Harbour in Leicestershire and I'm studying music. Hi, I'm Kirsty Biggs. I'm originally from Southampton and I'm doing a PhD in mathematics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Sam Hosgood. I'm from Bedford and I study chemical physics. Hi, I'm Dom Hewitt. I'm from Stroudings, Gloucestershire and I study English. The team from Ulster University have had something of a chequered career so far, losing in round one by a mere five points against the University of Edinburgh, then winning their losers' playoff against St Anne's College, Oxford, and their second round match against Warwick University. Their quarter final defeat was at the hands of St John's College, Cambridge. So, with an accumulated score of 635 earned over four matches at an average age of 50, let's meet the Ulster team again. Hello, I'm Cahill McDade from Boncrana in County Donegal and I'm studying for a master's degree in English Literature. Hi, I'm Kate Ritchie. I'm from Waringstown, County Armagh and I'm studying Fine Art. This is their Captain. Hi, I'm Ian Jack. I'm originally from Peterhead in Aberdeenshire and I'm reading for a PhD in Pharmacy. Hi, my name's Matthew Milliken. I'm from Cumber in County Down and I'm studying for a PhD in Education. Well, the rules are boringly unchanging, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. Four quarterings, one depicting a harp, one a lion rampant, and two showing three lions... Crystal bows. The Royal Standard. Correct. <laughs> Crystal, the first set of bonuses are on winners of the Nobel Prize in Literature. In each case, name the writer from the description. Firstly, born 1923, the first South African winner of the prize. Her works include July's People and The Conservationist. Nadine Gordimer. Nadine Gordimer. Correct. Secondly, the first black African winner of the prize, born in Nigeria. His works for the stage include Congi's Harvest and Death and the King's Horseman. Soyinka. Soyinka. Correct. And finally, who was the recipient in 2003? He has also won the Booker Prize twice. First for the life and times of Michael Kay and later for disgrace. Um, that's J.M. Curtsy. Right, J.M. Curtsy. J.M. Curtsy is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What first name links the artist who painted Christ preaching at Cookham Regatta, the Prime Minister at the time of the abdication crisis and the director of... Bristol Hewitt. Stanley. Stanley is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on essential oils. Firstly, what ten-letter name is given to the essential oils obtained from the lemongrasses or genus Simbapogon used in insect repellent and soap? Ten letters. Ten letters. Citronels. No, it's citronella. Oh. <laughs> used in perfumery, what oil is distilled from the flowers of the Seville orange? It takes its name from an Italian princess who's said to have popularised it in France in the later 17th century. Elizabeta? No, it's Neroli. And finally, Earl Grey tea is flavoured with an oil derived from which citrus fruit? Its name resembles and possibly derives from that of a city northeast of Milan. Bergamot? Bergamot? Correct. <laughs> Ten 
goes with this. Take the initial letters of the names of the eight planets of the solar system. The name of which of those planets can be spelled with a combination of some of those letters? Bristol has good. Venus. Venus is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the 19th century science writer, Mary Somerville. Firstly, the discovery of which planet stemmed from research inspired by Somerville's conjectures that difficulties in calculating the position of Uranus might point to the existence of such a body? Neptune. Correct. Noted for her contributions to her brother's astronomical research, which German-born British astronomer was elected with Somerville by the Royal Astronomical Society as its first female honorary members in 1835? Maybe Kepler. No, it's Caroline Herschel. Uh, Somerville yeah. may have been responsible for introducing Charles Babbage to which of his collaborators, who subsequently created a program for his prototype computer. Lovelace. Uh, Lovelace. Ada Lovelace is right. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture start, you'll see a map showing the effects of a rise in sea level of 60 metres, as a result of which five capital cities have been submerged. For ten points, name two of them. Ulster Jack. Dhaka and Rangoon. Uh, nope. Bristol Hewitt. Dhaka and Singapore. Nope. The capital cities in question are Dhaka, Bangkok, Phnom Penh, Hanoi and Colombo. So no one got that. So some, when someone gets to start a question correctly, they will get the picture bonuses. Ten points for this. Dark heart about poverty in Britain and flat earth news concerning media falsehood and distortion are among the works of which author and investigative journalist who played a... Alistair McDade. John Ronson. No, you lose five points. Who played a key role in reporting the news of the world phone hacking scandal? Bristol Hewitt. Crick. No, it was Nick Davis. Right, ten points for this. Give the three words differing only in their first letters that are respectively a generic term for a group of people, the surname of the 11th President of the United States and a part of an egg rich in fat and protein. Bristol Biggs. Folk, polk and yolk. Correct. <laughs> You'll recall that the picture start, which everyone had such difficulty with, showed capital cities named by the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change as being at risk of coastal inundation as a result of global warming. Picture bonuses, three more maps showing the effects of a 60-metre rise in sea level. Each has an endangered location pinpointed in red. Firstly, name this city. It has a population of around 5.8 million. Mm. Is it just a, is it just a tiny island that's gone, or is it...? I thought it was Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. It is Singapore. Let's see the whole thing. <laughs> and secondly, name this city. It's a population of approximately 1.2 million. Is it Bahrain? Is it? No. Um, oh, yeah. So is it Kibbe? Oh, is it in, or is it in the Qatar? The capital. Yeah. capital no, Bahrain, Bahrain is Bahrain. Mm. Right. No, it's not. No, oh. It's not. It's, it's Bahrain. Oh, it's Manama. Manama. Yeah, yeah. Manama? No, it's Basra. This is a population of approximately 1.2 million. There's the whole thing. Finally, name this city with a population of around 440,000. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, it's America. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, is that going to be somewhere in Florida? Yeah, it'll be somewhere in Florida, so Miami. Miami? Yeah. Miami? It is Miami, yes, yeah, yeah. after a bit of a flood. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called using the atomic numbers of the periodic table. If boron plus carbon is sodium, what is nitrogen plus oxygen? Crystal hose good. Phosphorus. Correct. You get a set of bonuses on Academy Award-winning films of 1976. The winner of the award for Best Adapted Screenplay, which film was a dramatisation of the Washington Post's investigation into the Watergate scandal? All the President's Men. All the President's Men? Correct. Beatrice Strait won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for a performance of less than six minutes 
in which satire on television news? No. Pass. It's network. And finally, the Academy Award for Best Costume Design went to which film by Fellini with Donald Sutherland in the title role of an 18th century historical figure? Can you give me an 18th century historical figure? 18th and 19th. 18th. George Washington. George Washington. No, it's Casanova. No. <laughs> Ten points for this. In 1914, Miss Fowler Tutt, a Sussex headmistress, was prominent in objections to the public display of a version of which sculpture? Commissioned in 1888, it represents Paola and Francesca. <laughs> Adult... Ulster Millican. Rodin's Kiss. Rodin's The Kiss is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on Russia. In each case, name the city from the description. All three answers begin with the same letter of the Roman alphabet. First, a major city on the Volga, about 800 kilometres east of Moscow. Captured in 1552 by Ivan the Terrible, it is now the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan. Nizhny Novgorod. No, it's Kazan. Secondly, the capital of a krai or region in the Russian Far East, situated at the point where the Trans-Siberian Railway crosses the Amur River. Sorry, no, pass. That's Khabarovsk. Mm -hmm. And finally, a major city of Siberia. Between Novosibirsk and Irkutsk, it is on the Yenisei River. Kursk. No, it's Krasnoyarsk. Ten points for this. Which king prosecuted the seven bishops for seditious libel when they petitioned against his second declaration of indulgence? Their acquittal is thought to have contributed to his overthrow later in the same year. Ulster Jack. Henry II. Crystal mm -hmm. Bones. James II. James II is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on prominent people. In each case, name the person from the description. All three names begin with the same three letters. First a Chilean literary figure and diplomat who adopted his name from that of a Czech poet. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1971. Pablo Neruda. Oh, Neruda. Neruda? Correct, Pablo Neruda is right. Secondly, a German scientist, recipient of the 1920 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He formulated what became known as the third law of thermodynamics. I assumed surnames, but... Mm -hmm. I don't... Nerman. No, that's Walter Hermann Nernst. Uh, oh. And finally, the Roman emperor who succeeded Domitian in AD 96. Mm -hmm. He's the first of the group traditionally known as the Five Good Emperors. Oh, no. um. <laughs> Nerva. 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 Nerva is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What six-letter word links a bright chestnut colour, use especially of horses, a culinary plant of the genus Rumex with sour-tasting leaves, and the surname of Hetty, a character in George Eliot's Adam Bede? Ulster Ritchie. Maroon. No, anyone like to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Biggs. Ginger. No, it's Sorrel. Ten points for this. Good and evil both increase at compound interest. That is why the little decisions you and I make every day are of such infinite importance. Which literary figure wrote those words in the 1952 work Mere Christianity? Bristol Hewitt. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is right. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on components of the human brain. In each case, give the term from the definition. Firstly, the layer of grey matter covering the superior surface of the brain. It integrates sensory impulses, directs motor activity, and controls higher intellectual functions. Cerebrum? Campus. I mean, still a... Cerebellum. I thought that was, like, the smallest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cerebrum? No, it's the cerebral cortex. What collective name is given to the dura mater, arachnid mater, and pia mater membranes? <laughs> um, hippocampus. Yeah, the hippocampus. 
Uh, they're, they're meninges. What term denotes either of a pair of organs that form most of the lateral walls of the third ventricle of the brain and translate neural impulses from receptors to the cerebral cortex? Hippocampus. No, they're thalamus or thalami. Uh -oh. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of music from a film. For ten points, simply give me the name of its composer. Ulster Jack. James Cameron? Nope. You can hear a little more. Bristol Hosegood. John Williams? No, that was Alan Menken, apparently, who was the score was from The Little Mermaid. OK, so music bonuses in a moment or two. Here's another starter question. Including several distinctive species, Diprotodontia is in order within which infraclass of mammals? Its name deriving from the Latin for pouch. Ulster Jack. Marsupials. Correct. <laughs> we follow on from The Little Mermaid, which was scored, as were many Disney musicals, by the composer Alan Menken. Three Disney songs composed by him. This time, in each case, I want the name of the film and the name of the actor you can hear singing. Firstly, for five. Taylor's old as time. It's Angela Lansbury. Aladdin, Angela Lansbury. It was Angela Lansbury, but it was Beauty and the Beast. Secondly, I'd given up hope that someone would come along. A fella who'd ring the bell for one night. The gun. The kind of wins trophies. Won't settle for low fees. At least semi pro fees. But no. Get the greenhorn. I've been out to pasture pound my ambition. Jimmy Durante. Content to spend lazy days in the rain. Is it Jimmy Durante? Yeah. Jimmy Durante, Lady in the Trump. No, that was Danny DeVito in Hercules. <laughs> and finally. Life is your restaurant. I'm your man of you. Come on, whisper what it is you want. You ain't never had a real like me. Yes, sir. We pride ourselves on service. You're the boss, the king, the shot. I think it's right to you, but don't you the actor? No, it was Robin Williams as the genie in Aladdin. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In which federal state is the University of Marburg? Germany's first Bristol Hosegood. Uh, Saxon, Lower Saxony. No, you lose five points. Ulster, if you, you can hear the whole thing, actually. Yeah, first yeah. Protestant university, founded in 1527 by Philip the Magnanimous. It's situated between Frankfurt and Kassel. Uh, Ulster Hess. Millican. Hessen? Hess is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the French directory. Which director was known as the organiser of victory in the Revolutionary Wars? His son, Sadi, was a pioneer of thermodynamics who gave his name to a cycle, an efficiency and a heat engine. Pascal? No, it's Carnot. Serving as a director for only a few months in 1799, which political theorist and clergyman was the author of the pamphlet What is the Third Estate? French. Oh, French. French. Rousseau? No, that was Sierz. And finally, who served as Minister of Foreign Affairs between 1797 and 1799 and later as Napoleon's chief diplomat? His career is noted for a capacity for political survival. Somebody for survive. Sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry? Yeah. What was his name? No, he was stabbed in the back. Marshal Ney. Ma Nominate Richie. Marshal Ney. Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. He wasn't a diplomat in the slightest. No, <laughs> no it was Talleyrand. Oh, Talleyrand. Ten points for this. In Norse mythology, what name is given to the figures charged with selecting those casualties of war who are deemed <laughs> Bristol Bones. Valkyries. Valkyries is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on fundamental constants in physics. 
In the MKS formulation of Coulomb's law, what symbol represents Coulomb's constant? Um, is it epsilon naught, maybe? Epsilon naught? No, it's K or kappa. Right. Coulomb's constant is usually written as the reciprocal of 4 pi times what constant? Oh, that might be. Um, it's the, is it the permittivity? I think it's the permittivity. Of free space. The permittivity of free space? Correct. Finally, the permeability of free space is represented by what symbol? Mu naught. Correct. Mm. Ten points for this. Born in 1841, the Danish botanist Eugenius Warming is regarded as a founder of which field of study within the life sciences? It concerns the relationships between living things and their environment. Bristol Hosegood. Ecology. Ecology is correct. <laughs> a set of bonuses on the actress Greta Garbo. Garbo's first spoken words on screen were Give Me a Whiskey in Anna Christie, a 1930 film based on a play by which future Nobel laureate? Mm. Pinter? Was it? No. Okay, Benno, did he win it? Yeah, I think so. Or Tennessee Williams? Um, Any American Come on, let's have it, right. please. Miller. That's Eugene O'Neill. Oh. Secondly, what five words form the first line spoken by Garbo playing an aging ballerina in the 1932 film Grand Hotel? <laughs> Pass. I want to be alone. Oh. <laughs> One of Garbo's best-known roles was playing the title character of which film based on a novel first published in Russian from 1875? Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina? Correct. We're going to take another picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a tennis player. Ten points if you can give me her name. Uh, Ulster Jack. Billie Jean King. Correct. <laughs> In 2006, the tennis complex at Flushing Meadows, where the US Open is played, was named after Billie Jean King. Picture bonuses, three more tennis players who've had Grand Slam courts named after them. Five points for each player you can name. Firstly for five... Arthur Ashe. Correct. Secondly... What would that be named after? Maureen. No, no. Roland Garros. Uh, <laughs> good heavens, he's had a gender change. <laughs> Suzanne Longlon. She is the person after whom the second court at Roland Garros is named. And finally... Rod Laver. It is Rod Laver and the principal court at the Australian Open. Right, ten points for this. Flappers and Philosophers is an early collection of short stories by which US author, born in 1896? It appeared in the same year as his novel, This Side of Paradise, and is dedicated... Crystal Bates. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on fictional characters, Bristol. In each case, give the three-letter surname of the following. Firstly, in Joseph Heller's Catch-22, the airman with whom Yossarian shares a tent. Skilled at crash-landing his aircraft, he later escapes to Sweden. Bay. Bay. No, it's Orr. O-R-R. -R. In A.S. Byatt's Possession, a leading poet who embarks on an illicit liaison with Christabel Lamotte. No. Bay. That's Randolph Henry Ash. And finally, in Thomas Hardy's Far from the madding crowd, a shepherd who woos and finally marries Bathsheba Eberdeen. Oh, yeah. Oak. Gabriel Oak is correct. <laughs> Three minutes to go, ten points for this. In 1991, Khaleda Zia became the first female prime minister of which country? Her husband, Zia Ukhrakman, was a former independence fighter assassinated in 1981. Bristol Hewitt. Bangladesh. Correct. You get a set of bonuses on a composer. The Espana Rhapsody and the operas L'Etoile and Gwendolyn are works by which French composer, born in 1841? Bizet. Come on. Bizet? No, Chabrier. Okay. 
What is the English sense of the title of Chabrier's opera Le Roi Malgré Lui, first performed in 1887? The king himself. The king himself. The king himself. No, it's the king in spite of himself. Oh. Chabrier was the original owner of the painting A Bar at the Folie Bergère by which of his contemporaries? Manet? Correct. Ten points for this. Answer promptly. In astronomy, how many degrees of apparent sky rotation is three hours of right ascension? Ulster Millican. 90. No. Bristol, one of you buzz? Crystal Hosgood. 45. 45 is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on India, Bristol. What name is common to the eastern and western mountain ranges that together mark the approximate edges of the Deccan Plateau in southern India? Um, no. Come on. The Himalayas. <laughs> <laughs> They're the Ghats, it's the other end of India. Mount Abu is a feature of the Aravalli range, running for several hundred kilometres southwest of Delhi. It lies substantially in which state? Gujarat. Right. Gujarat? No, it's Rajasthan. Oh. The Siachen Glacier, close to the border between India and Pakistan, is a feature of which mountain system whose name means black rock? Black rock. Mm -hmm. Is it like Chan Chan? What's the one in China? Is it, this is not in China. It's in oh, oh, is it not in China? No, this is... Come on. OK. What? Himalayas. That's the Karakoram. Oh. <laughs> Ten points for this. Named after a monarch, which town is situated on the Great Glen Fault at the northeastern end of Loch Linney? It's often a starting point of a sense of Ben Nevis. Bristol Hewitt. Fort William. Fort William is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on chemistry, Bristol. In each case, give the formula of the named chemical. For example, tungsten carbide will be WC. <laughs> At the John Ulster University, have 45, but Bristol have 205. Well, I'm afraid, Ulster, we're going to have to say goodbye to you, but never mind. Thank you. You've been a fun team to have. Thank you very much for joining us. Bristol, congratulations. You get to do it again, <laughs> you lucky things. <laughs> I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match. But until then, it's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>